Hey Scorpio, welcome to December. I just have to ask, why so serious? I'm kind of getting that vibe from you and really looking at these cards, I can kind of see it, but it's more just like the energy that I felt connecting with you and looking at the astrology that actually makes quite a deal of sense. I do have some cards here on the table, very, very interesting, but before we dive into that, I just want to thank all of you who support this channel with your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Obviously, it's with all of your support that I'm able to continue putting out these messages and doing this incredible work, so really from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much. I am actually running a holiday sale on my website as well, so if you would like a personal reading or Reiki session with me, now is a great time to book. I'll be running the sale through the 21st of December, and you can get 20% off using the code GOODTIDINGS. And um, yeah, all my links are in the description box down below. But Scorpio, I just see like business with you this month because we have the five of swords in the past and that was further clarified with the two of swords i'm just gonna be blunt i saw these cards and i was like someone got blocked i don't know if you blocked someone or someone blocked you but it feels like someone had to just walk away from a situation where there was no good outcome uh, it was kind of a losing battle, or there's just a lot of power struggle or ego struggle. It was just self-destructive for you to stay in that energy. And so you left it behind. And honestly, it's like you stormed out and slammed the door behind you is sort of the energy I'm getting. Maybe this is referring to somebody else, but honestly, Scorpio, I kind of feel like it's you. Uh, so, you know, what's going on? What, what did we do? Um... I, I feel like there's just, there's almost this energy where it's like you shut someone out and now it's like, I'm going to show them with the magician. Um, I'm not going to try and prove myself to someone who's never going to see me as enough. And I'm just going to prove myself. And that might have something to do with Uranus in the sign of Taurus, kind of getting activated and, and bringing out changes in relationships or the way that you view relationships. We've really been focused a lot on finances for you this season so far and, and stability. So maybe you walked away from a job. Um, I kind of want to clarify what all of this was about, but I, I, I want to keep going for now. Um, we do have Mars in uh, Gemini retrograde right now. So Mars is retrograde in the sign of Gemini. You are co-ruled by Mars. The other co-ruler is Pluto. Pluto is honestly pretty quiet this month with the exception that the United States is going through its Pluto return. It's third and final one on the 28th. Um, that's kind of a whole can of worms there, to be honest. I, I think it's just going to be kind of a destabilizing time in, in sort of like a behind the scenes sort of way. Um, but with Mars retrograde in Gemini, the energy could be really, really frustrated for you. Um, we also have a full moon in Gemini as well. So this could kind of peak something for you. Gemini really does represent this part of you that wants to dive in deep. And that's probably why I got that very serious vibe from you, that very intense kind of like focus from you and it's like you want to be done you want to just be like you know what i'm going to cut out all of these things because i'm ready to manifest i'm ready to make things happen now um and it's it's not even like a resistant energy it's not even like a bad energy i actually feel like there's a lot of empowerment with the king of cups here or the father of cups this is actually you, Scorpio. So I feel like you really are stepping into your energy and it's like just no bullshit. Like I, I feel like you're just done with the games and you're not going to bargain with people. You're not going to bargain in relationships or jobs that just aren't doing it for you. And I, I see like you taking some really forward moving action with the Sun of Cups and the Sun of Swords or the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords respectively. Um, I really feel like there's almost like a battle going on here actually. Um, 
and there is the water energy with the cups there is air energy with the swords um but i i i i feel like there's someone who i almost feel like someone's trying to come back Ugh, i hate those readings but i i really kind of get that vibe i'm not gonna lie and we do have Mercury going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn that is happening on the 29th. That's after the Sun entered Capricorn on the 21st. We have Mercury and Venus entering Capricorn in the second week of December. There's a lot of Capricorn energy. And for you, that rules over communication and the mind. And, you know, when Mercury goes retrograde, it's kind of the cliche, but it can bring up people from the past or themes from the past. It can be a time of tying up loose ends. And some people will kind of hear people or astrologers or readers say that and they'll be like, well, no one came back from the past when Mercury went retrograde last time for me. It really just depends. Honestly, like astrologically, there are, are signs where it's going to be more likely for that to happen to it's possible that could happen to you. Um, this might not even be a romantic thing, although there is usually a romantic uh, kind of bent with the sun or knight of cups. It really just feels like there's a battle. There's a face-off. There's a confrontation. And it's so funny, Scorpio. It just feels like such a cliche Scorpio interaction because you do not want to look at this person. Um, oh, actually, I'm kind of getting a layer here um, that's kind of heavy. I, I feel like some of you ended a relationship or there was a connection that ended and you spent all of your focus on work or your goals and you just put your nose to the grind. You, you didn't focus on anything else. And you found a lot of fulfillment in what it was that you were doing or what it was that you were focusing on or wherever you were putting your energy. But then it happens. You see each other. You run into each other. There's just this weird encounter or synchronicity or someone messages somebody. Kind of feels like it's another person, but maybe it's the other way around. And it just feels like a stalemate. I, I don't know what that even means. I need to clarify this energy. Honestly, Scorpio, your reading has been more confusing to me than the other, <laughs> other signs. And it feels very mysterious to me. Maybe that's just because Mars is in your eighth house in the sign of Gemini. There's a lot of secrecy. Maybe you don't want me digging around in your personal life. I don't know. Um, but it just feels like... Yeah, it feels like there's not a lot of clarity here. Um, that will probably change with the Three of Wands. I think answers will come in. The outcome that you're hoping for will happen, especially professionally. I'm kind of getting that. Um, you want to do a lot. You want to focus on a lot of things or focus on one thing very specifically, very intensely, and it's, it's taking a lot of your attention, but it feels like there's all of this other stuff going on that's kind of pulling you out of it or pulling you away. Um, that's just an energy I'm getting. I, I feel like um, The new moon in Capricorn that we have on the 23rd in specific really is this new message or cycle coming in. We do have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, whatever, it's what I'm saying. Whatever it is that you're working on, it will pay off, Scorpio. Um, and I think when we have Jupiter entering into Aries... That is very much what this energy represents because Jupiter in Aries is blessing your routines and your health and your wellness. So there could be an improvement in your health. But how I'm really seeing Jupiter for most of you, Jupiter in Aries is going to make whatever it is that you work on 
pay off or, or give you a reward. And I know that sounds kind of lame for some people, but honestly, that's a huge gift because there are so many situations in people's lives where it's like they can put in a lot of energy and it just doesn't pay off and it's just not aligning or it's not working. When you have Jupiter in the sign of Aries, you're pretty much going to achieve whatever it is that you really set your mind to and work towards. And that's what we are getting with the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. This could also represent opportunities abroad or representing abroad. Um, maybe there's something involving travel as well. So if you want to travel more, I do feel like that is going to be happening for you. Um, but there's just blessings that are coming for you. And it, I do feel like it's bringing abundance and it's bringing money. You are working for it, but it's very fulfilling work. You're feeling very emotionally fulfilled or at least content with the King of Cups here. Um, but man, what is happening between the Son of Cups and the Son of Swords? What is happening between these two knights? Um... Wow, I knew this was coming. The Two of Cups. I also get same-sex energy with these two. Um, or, you know, I mean, if you're non-binary, maybe it's another non-binary person or something like that. I, I just get, like, same-sex or similar gender identity people who are meeting. And there is the Two of Cups here. So it does feel kind of romantic. And I think, with Neptune going direct in Pisces, there's kind of this haziness or this rose cuddle glasses that might be coming up, but it's like you're resisting that, especially at the start of this month, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, I feel like there's like this encounter. And maybe this isn't even someone from the past. Maybe this is someone new, but it's just like, I feel like the way you meet is really funny and like, it'll be a funny story sort of thing because it's almost like this person kind of feels like they're pissing you off. Um, that's really, really funny. And it's kind of like that rom-com moment where it's like one person is just like, I'm not going to get into a relationship. I'm just going to focus on this one thing and then something happens. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's another person. Honestly, feels like it's you, Scorpio. <laughs> um, and I mean, we've had Jupiter. here. The thing with Jupiter going into Aries, Jupiter has been in, in Pisces and it's kind of been a fun, frivolous energy, maybe even that doesn't necessarily feel super resonant, but it's like with Jupiter going from the sign of Pisces into the sign of Aries, something becomes very serious. I also potentially get the energy that maybe you are meeting someone at work or in a work environment. Um, there could even be someone who starts off as an enemy with Jupiter in the sixth house, which can sometimes represent a uh, competition or enemies becoming a romantic person for you or just becoming a really close relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic with the two of cups, but it, it really is like the vibe I'm getting. And I feel like a lot of you, um, it even could be someone of the same sex. I mean, this is a general reading. So, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest behind for somebody else. But I get same sex energy. Um, and I was kind of getting that with the Father of Cups and the Knight of Cups, or King of Cups, Knight of Cups, uh, facing the Knight of Swords. There's a Two of Cups between them. I mean, it's a pretty literal image, honestly. Is there anything else here? Anything else here? We do have the King of Pentacles here as well. This could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. Um, 
This kind of just feels separate from this, but it, it's a very stable thing. There might be an age difference actually between you and somebody else. Someone might be very established or much more established than the other person. But I really feel like there's just, you're trying to focus on stability. You really, really are. And it's like, I'm almost getting like power couple energy. Like someone's really a, a doer. Um, and I'm going to be honest. I feel like someone who comes in, you're just going to feel like their energy is like kind of flippant, maybe even superficial or like this person doesn't feel like your usual type, whether that's a romantic thing or a friend thing. Um, it feels like this person actually surprises you. Let yourself be surprised by this person. And there could, again, there's a lot of stability here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this could also be involving some family stuff too. I mean, I, I'm thinking like siblings, there could be stuff happening if you have siblings. Maybe there's conflict and reconciliation between you and siblings this month. And I mean, that feels like a thing that happens on the holidays, right? Um, <laughs> but I, I get the sense, like, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like you're getting to the heart of what really matters, and it's like building strong foundations, and it's almost like the way relationships have worked in the past is very different from what they're going to look like in the future for you, and it's almost like, oh, this is what a stable relationship feels like. Huh. <laughs> And the Ace of Cups, yeah, there's a lot of love, love energy here. There's a lot of relational energy here. But really, the Ace of Cups is just like a new beginning emotionally. It's feeling emotionally renewed. Maybe there is some self-love here. Maybe there is this unification within yourself. Um, but honestly, it feels like it's between you and somebody else, Scorpio. Anyways, I want to pull some animal cards for you now. What are the energies you should be embodying? Let's come back to you and kind of wrap up this reading with with a sort of with some advice for you. What is the animal energy for Scorpio? We have the raccoon. Something is not what it seems to be with the the mask here. And I think that's kind of the thing with this person. There is a person who's going to be very prevalent in your life this month who at first kind of feels superficial or just like... I feel like it's, it's almost like what they do for a living. That's the thing that you don't like or that's the thing that kind of feels like superficial about them. But when you actually get to know them, it's almost like they, they are struggling and they are trying to find their purpose. They are trying to find something that's more fulfilling. And that's actually the level you are connecting on with this person. Um, I'm not sure who exactly this is, but it does feel like it's kind of this romantic person. Uh, but it could be somebody else. Others of you are kind of going through your own sort of career or brand identity crisis. I could be seeing that. And I think some of you want to venture into something new. You want to create something new. I feel like a lot of you are working with your hands in some way as well. That is actually Gemini energy. Mars is in Gemini uh, because Gemini rules over the hands. We do also have the magician here and the magician has all of these things, all of the elements on the table. So I feel like there is something that you are doing with your hands whether this is a craft or writing or just something about you working with your hands feels really important this month for this group anyways. Um, what other animal messages do we have? What other animal messages do we have for Scorpio? We have the tarantula. Yeah, some of you are molting, you are shedding and you are moving towards something that you want whether this is a person or a, a path, um, this actually feels more earthy to me. It feels like you are going into new work. You're shedding kind of an old identity or role, and you are stepping into a new role this month. And it feels like there's a really interesting synchronistic connection that is happening in that process. And 
I tell this to my clients all the time. It's like the way you meet the person who is right for you is when you are on your aligned path. Your path will naturally cross with the people who are right for you. When you are listening to your intuition, you're listening to your higher self, and you are going in that direction. And so I, maybe that's kind of what this crossing paths is. It, it feels really funny. You're going to have to let me know in the comment section down below, like, what this is at the end of the month. Like, who was this person? It's so funny. Um, I just, I'm getting a good chuckle out of it. Anyway, Scorpio, um, I think those are all the messages I have for you this month. I hope you have a great rest of your year. I, I'm wishing you very happy holidays. I have all of my links in the description box down below. And again, I am running the sale on my website through at least December 21st. Um, keep your eyes and ears out. Maybe there's some other stuff I'll be doing this month too. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Thank you.